Hey everyone, Soundwave8084 here with a Transformers review. In this review, take a look at the Walmart exclusive retro-styled Transformer Headmaster releases, or re-releases. Here we take a look at Weird Wolf, and he got his name back. These are based on the Titans Returns um, molds, and the, the scheme of the new, uh, the new looks, paints, and stuff like that is sort of leaning more towards the actual cartoon and toward the Transformer Legends we got from Japan, from Takara. So we got the G1 style box art right here, or packaging. Headmaster Wordwolf comes with Monzo. He's inside right here. Uh, they did change the box art to reflect the head style here, as the other one is different. They actually came on the G1 boxes. And then we go on the size, it's just to mimic how the actual G1 boxes look. But we're using the new updated uh, figures for that. And we have the old school packaging. You know, the art back here with Fortress Max and Scorponok and the Headmasters, Target Masters. All battle now. We even got some Monster Boxes, Repugnus back there and everything. And he's got his tech spec card and all that good stuff. So, let's open up uh, this Weird Wolf and compare him with the Titans Returns version. Also known as Wolfwire. Alright, so Weird Wolf out of the packaging. He comes with a G1 sort of retro styled instructions. Comes with his gun, which is sort of G1 style, but it's also meant for the new Titan Master System. And he comes with this sword, which you can plug back here to form his tail. So you plug that in, now he has his tail. And then the gun here with the peg can store underneath in this little peg hole. So it just looks like he's very excited to see people. Or I'm using these two like tab pieces. It can slot back here. These two slots around his tail area. Back there. And you would take his Titan Master or Head Master. And you could set him inside the weapon right there. So he comes with Monzo. We'll take a look and compare this one with the Titans Returns version. It's the same uh, mold. It's just got more paint on it. And then, of course, the blue coloring they use is a darker blue plastic than the brighter blue we got with the Titans Returns version. Now, one thing I did change, of course, was the head design. This right here really mimics the Japanese Headmasters cartoon series. It resembles the Rebirth in the design, but the colors are not the same. This is a more updated version of his head sculpt here, just to be, I guess, modernized. And the biggest change we got here on actual Weird Wolf is just the colors are different. You got a more of a gold mustardy yellow plastic here, whereas this one has a more bright yellow. The color blues, this is a lighter blue than what we got here. This is a very darkish blue. Uh, otherwise, this is a pretty much about the same color here, but they did paint the teeth silver in here. It's actual paint, it's not a silver piece. Because you can see where they painted it against the translucent plastic. Here, his whole mouth is just a translucent red plastic. Now, that's the, really the biggest difference. Just some of the deco changes have you know, been done here. They added some blue there. Some of the silver, like so where the stickers would be there. Red back here has been added. And the red on the tail from the Titan Turner version has been removed on the new retro style version now as i was playing around with this figure here to get transformed for this review i was sitting there and i had this piece here where you can store the other headmaster uh, he can actually sit in this cockpit back here uh, let me plug that till i am trying to open it there and i was there and I, I opened this and it, the whole plastic bit and i was like man that is some pretty you know pliable plastic and then snap a -roo, i snapped it very thin plastic hooked around the pin right here uh it's just some yellow plastic hooked onto some translucent rubbery plastic so i snapped that piece on my titan returns version not the new version so i'm just gonna say be careful with that area there it is very thin plastic wrapped around a pin so you can take the other Titan Master, Headmaster, and they would sit inside of him inside there. But it still you know, works. So just be careful with that. Also, the thing this is the Titan Turns. I took this jet, this a white paint here. They removed that on the new retro style release. 
So the colors I like a lot better on the newest release here, re-release, as it is more a G1 accurate look, especially to the Headmasters cartoon. Now, articulation on this, we get a lot. The mouth actually opens and closes. The head can spin around a 360. Uh, you got a little side-to-side -side rock as well. So you got some expressive movements in the actual head. We use the ball joint and shoulders for robot mode for the front here in his wolf mode. We have ball joints here, so we get different movements right there. The swivel up here. And then we have the elbow joint, so the arms give you lots of movement. Back here we have the legs, so we get some movement back here. These feet are on ball joints, so you get that movement there. And then, of course, you have his hips up here that you get some movement out of as well. So it's a lot of movement here in this figure. Very poseable, very expressive. All right, so let's transform Weird Wolf into his robot mode. First thing you want to do, if you have his gun on him, remove that. If you have the Titan Master, Head Master, take that out of the cockpit. Next thing you want to do is remove the tail. Put all those three things to the side. You'll use them later. Next thing you want to do is come down here to his legs without dropping them. Straighten his legs out here in the back. And you want to spin his back feet, just the feet, back around 180 to the back side. And you can then open up these yellow feet. Bring them down so they snap into place. Like that. You're going to take these leg pieces. There is this little slot right here. When you move these down, there's a tab inside there. It's going to go right inside that slot, right above the foot. And that helps lock the uh, shin guards, you can say, into place. So bring this down. Tab it in, and you have done his legs. Now we're gonna come up here to the back side. You want to pull out this piece here, untap his head, open up the torso here, and then you're going to remove uh, this torso piece, this little waist piece. It's going to come out of these two little catches there. You want to bring this up, and then it's on this hinge. I want to bring this all the way up to these two pieces here. We'll slide up here right below uh, this flap. And you bring that up. Rest it in. Collapse it all the way into his chest. Close this piece back up. Snaps right into there. You want to then push this down right there. These two ears will now slot into these two gaps right here. This sort of holds the uh, head into place. Come in here to his arms. 180 at the bicep swivel. Pull these hands back, open up this piece, pull out his hands, like this, and then close that right back down so it snaps in. Hands back, 180. Open up. Oh, come on. Bring the hands out, and then close that back up. Now you just want to take the headmaster and transform that. It's just folding here. Take the head, tab it in, put the head in. Now you can take his tailpiece, put it in his hand, his gun. You can now go in the other hand. And voila, you have transformed uh, Weird Wolf into his uh, robot mode. Now, this being an older figure, based on an older figure, older, older uh, mold, uh, there's no blast effect support per se, but you can shove one into this big, huge gaping hole in this cannon. Just got to really push it in there. It's not a perfect union. It can fall out if you shake it and stuff, but it is, it is doable. It's better if this tabbed in his hand a little bit better. It's very loose in there, but yeah. It is, uh, you can do this, so. It's there. It's like I said, it's not perfect, so it's not going to stand very well. But you can do it just for quick pictures, photos, stop motion, or whatever you want to do. All it right, with. so articulation on Weird Wolf. You got a little bit of a waist swivel. He's got a lot of junk in his trunk, so a lot of things get prevented back here. Uh, hips you can go out to the sides there because the ball jointed. It helps if I can actually move the actual hip out to there. Uh, kick forward to there. Back, you don't get very much because all this stuff. Knee bends, you got ball jointed ankles, so you get some ankle tilt. That's because of his uh, beastie uh, alt mode. Uh, head is on that you know, 
tight end turn joint. A little rock and you can 360 around. 360 shoulders around and got the ball joint in. Out to there. Bicep swivels, elbow bends to there. No wrist swivels. They are one piece. So that's pretty much all the articulation you're going to get here on Weird Wolf. But he still poses very well. There's really no complaints there. All right, so here is Weird Wolf, the re-release versus the original Tiger Turns Wolf Wire. Just to show you how they look compared in robot mode. I mean, they both look really good. I say you really can't go wrong with either figure. This is just like a more modernized, updated version of the character, in my opinion. This is a more G One esque, you know, toy headmaster's cartoon looking version of the character. Both look really good. I still think I like the colors on this one. It's because this is more G One, and that's just where I lean. And here he is next to Wavemate Skull Smasher. Both look really good. I, like I said, I prefer both of these guys compared to their Titans Returns incarnations. Anyway, this has been Soundwave884. Thanks for watching this review. Until the next ones. Uh -oh.